Hi, I'm Askit here with another episode of Thoughts On with Krondis this time. Hi. And uh, this time we will be covering another little bundle of things like the uh, last time Krondis and I did one of these together, I believe. Seems like um, every time we're on together. Yeah, it's, it's always the bundle stuff. Um, and this one we will be covering February's month ahead, the latest invention update, along with the 15-year vet cape in that update, and the um, Ninja Fixes Top Tens. Uh, that we got from a survey by Mod Kelpie. So let's just kind of leap into it, I guess. Review uh, so of 15-year cape. Got... I cannot get it. It looks nice, I can't, I can't and I do not have it. It is gorgeous. I've still got years and years to wait on that one. So I've so. got, like, two years. Yeah, it'll, it'll be so. a while. Cool-looking cape, though. Really, really great work. Yeah. Um, yeah, so February contains, let's see, double XP weekend. Uh, which also is part of the game jam, a uh, mystery quest that we know what it is now. I think We're veteran cape, uh, sure. invention tools, and skill cape perks. So, um, first big thing for the month really is the double XP weekend in the game jam. So instead of um, the usual, you know, well of goodwill charity thing that they tend to run with Game Blast, uh, it seems they are no longer partnered with Game Blast and have said decided to run a game jam where uh, mods will be creating a update for the game over this weekend. We'll be, you know, live streaming stuff, uh, talking about what they're doing and so on. Uh, it looks really, really cool, and I like the idea of it. It really feeds into this kind of idea of passion projects that JackX has been pushing at the start of this year as teams move towards. Now we just have to poke Stu into doing yeah. another 36-hour stream. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, as they move towards uh, expansions, you know, less team members are available to make large updates, so these passion projects are a cool way to fill out the schedule. I was surprised to hear they disconnected from Game Blast. They were, like, really in with those guys. I, I think it was something on Game Blast's end, actually. I'm mm -hmm. really not sure, though. But, uh, yeah. I was, I was surprised to see that, too. But, um, beyond the DXP stuff, um... The week after it ends, too, they will also be running uh, not a double XP, but an increased XP week um, that gives up to a million XP, which is pretty cool. Um, I like I like that. Uh, oh, okay, um, I went hunting while I was saying that and found a uh, found something from Mod Balance who says we have an exciting new charity initiative for 2017 and beyond. It'll give more focus on the charities and causes which we support as a company and as a community. The new strategy we're, we are developing is based on player feedback and on feedback from Jagex staff. We want all of our charity activities to be relevant and impactful. Whilst we aren't going to be involved in special effects game blast this year, we are still planning to run events and live streams in aid of other charitable causes. We're still working on the plans, but we are looking forward to hearing your thoughts when we share more with you in the next few months. This was about two months ago. Mm. So are they not going to open the Well of Goodwill? No, because they don't have anything to donate to. So there's not actually anything to donate to. Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah. So this this thing is not a charity event, but I'm sure we'll be seeing more of them, or I hope we'll be seeing more of them. All right. Um, next up is the quest. It's Ernest the Chicken 2. It's Probably. gotta be Ernest the Chicken 2. Yeah. yeah. The only quest requirement is Ernest the Chicken. There's a Killer Watts requirement on there with the Slayer. We've done a whole video on this. If you'd like to you know, hear more about that, uh, there will hopefully be a link on the screen if I remember to put an annotation here. So, uh, Actually, just, here. just yesterday, Mod Nexus responded on uh, Twitter, and he was like, yeah. oh, you did such a good job finding stuff. Yeah, I was, I was so happy. He even, um, even shouted out the fact that we noticed uh, some of the coding language that was hiding along the side um, in that, what, that picture that was shown of Ertest with the roast me is part of a um, an updating model, I believe, if I'm understanding the coding stuff correctly. Yeah, it was something uh, like it was the... Like uh... Yeah, it's a Q manager prefix in yeah, Java yeah. and C++. So um, what that kind of says to me is that uh, it's a model that will update based on a specific character because it's part of a Q. But I don't know enough about coding to say for sure. But that's, that's what I understood. Um, but it, it definitely makes sense that this is Ernest the Chicken 2, and we, we lay out all the reasoning in the Quest in the Making video that 
you'll be able to check out if you're interested. Uh, Mods Nexus and Helen look like they've been having a blast with this, so I'm really eager to uh, get my hands on it. Uh, so I'm just I going to be... blast them for it not being Elemental Workshop 5 at the same exactly. time. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be looking forward to um, playing it. I'm going to try and record it. I don't really know how great the recording capabilities are, but we're going to test it out sometime soon, and hopefully we'll be able to record this quest and put it up on the channel. Um, uh, beyond that, the Veteran Cape, this is out. The Invention Tools, this is out. We'll talk about these in a moment. And the Skill Cape Perks, uh, these are pretty cool. So, we only know uh, of the Herbler one, right? We know, let's see, I believe two or th I think we know three of them. I know the Herbler Cape, uh, it automatically cleans all herbs in your inventory. By using, by activating the Yeah, cape. by activating yeah. it. The Strength Cape um, extends the duration of... Um, what was it? Is it the bleed effect? I think it's the bleed effect. I have not heard that. Bleed ability. Is that that on was Twitter? one of the two shown on the live stream. Oh, and then the last the one invention reduces charge drain. Which one? Which one? Uh, invention cape reduces oh, oh, okay, okay. charge drain. Yeah, it's a cool little thing to be adding to the skill cape. Yeah, I'm, but I'm a big fan. Kind of came out of left field. I wasn't expecting it. I'm glad they're doing it, though. Uh, old School has had it for a fairly long time. Yeah. So uh, these look really cool. I'm, I'm excited to check these out. I'm eager to see what they have for us. Yeah, Strength allows the Dismember ability to at last an extra two seconds. And Dismember is the bleed effect. So it really gives you a couple extra ticks of the bleed, which is really nice. Like, no complaints about that. Um, so that'll be... Uh, with the perks as well, you, you will take a cape and you can use it on a max or comp cape, and it will consume that cape and give you that perk on the cape. Um, and max and comp capes can have up to three perks. Well, you know, normal skill capes can only have their specific one. So that's a nice benefit as well. And I'm I was, really excited to see what comes out of that. I was kind of upset they didn't put the three on the... Uh... Combined capes. Yeah, um, there's been some discussion about that, not from Jagex, but from players. And I, I think it would be really nice if perhaps not having access to, you know, all of them, but at least being able to take one cape and using it on there to get that one perk. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, or like game. two or like two and two or three. Just meet them. Yeah, middle. two would be really good too. Um, finally, there's a Valentine's event coming this year. Seems to be kind of three part. So there's a treasure hunter part. There's a um, event in the crater part, and then um, one kind of like Deathbeard's demise. If I understood Monte Cristo correctly. So uh, yeah, I'm I eager to see what's up with that. Um, like the, all like of the rewards. Right? All of the rewards are in the game cache already. Um, so we we know what they are. We've got. Um, a, a new staff um, called the Staff of Devotion, which seems to have a number of different letters or levels. A heart balloon, a bunch of flowers you can hold, a loot beam, um, an override, a new walk animation, a new rest animation, and a new loot beam override. And um, th there is also something that kind of functions like ice cream during the uh, during the beach party, where it seems to um, reset and allow you to continue to gather the devotion dust that you'll be caching them. So, interesting. Some of these rewards look pretty fun. Um, they were all shown on the stream that Jagex did for the month ahead as well. So, yep. uh, yeah, that's that's the month ahead. It's it's a fairly, like, low-key month, per se. You know, they're not overhyping anything, which is nice. Yeah, they're very uh, low-key until smaller, the expansions are coming quests, out. Yeah, smaller-scale invention stuff, the perks... But it's, you know, because of the lead up to expansions, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It also helps that next month should be Shattered Worlds, which will be pretty large. Eh. Um, I'm, I'm eager to see what comes out of it, especially with the mods that are on it. You know, just putting Stu on it alone has me excited and interested. I was happy the first time when they dropped the project, and I was hoping yeah, they would I would, go back to it, I, and they did. I'm still more than okay with it not happening. But since it is, I'm eager to see what they're doing with it and why it exists. So we'll see. 
I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, I think all the mods involved on it are great and will be very talented and are very talented. So uh, I hope they've managed to cook something up that's really fun. But uh, the reason we're fairly sure it's coming next month is because next month is March, which is the third month of the year, which means the team that is currently making Shattered Worlds will then be moving over to their expansion to come out in September. Since, since each expansion is supposed to be a six-month dev period, it would make sense that three months into the year, they would start working Wait, on their expansion. does that mean Stu is not going to be on expansion one? Correct. He is on expansion two. So they split Stu and Rally up. That's disappointing. Yes. I'm, I'm not actually all that disappointed, to be honest. Um, They're such a good pair, though. While, while I'm sad that the two of them are split up, the fact that now both of them can have a heavy impact on each expansion is really nice. Yeah, that's true. I think, I think they are some of the uh, some of the game's most talented writers, especially. Um, and being able to use them for their extreme lore knowledge while crafting these things is is really great to me. It seems like they've found, you know, what each team was strongest at and took those members and made sure they were spread out so that both expansion teams has a good combination of everything. Yeah. So, um, Invention Hammer and Tinderbox came out on Monday. Requires 22 Invention. Let's you make the Hammertron and Tinderbox Omatic. You can also augment the Crystal Tinderbox and Hammer. Alongside this, five new perks. Prosper, which allows you to find uh, clue scrolls while skilling, only one rank. Pyromaniac, which gives you a 0.1% uh, chance per rank to burn all of the logs of the same type in your inventory. Five ranks. Rapid, which is a 5% chance per uh, rank to speed up each action. This goes three ranks, so up to a 15% chance. Breakdown, which is a 20% chance per rank to automatically disassemble smithed items. It has five ranks, which means if you have rank five, it will automatically disassemble everything you smith when using the um, thing you've slotted it into. And then Tinker, which is a 1% chance per rank for each action to grant plus 10% XP with three ranks. Which is very Pyromania low. Yeah, Pyromaniac can only be used for fire making. Rapid is for both smithing and fire making. Breakdown is smithing only, and Tinker is smithing and fire making. Prosper is for any skill. Prosper is pretty bad. Yeah, um, that, it's pretty bad. You do not, not need that. It's not that it's not even that you don't need it, it's that what it's offering over another perk is not strong enough to be worth slotting it. Which is the problem. Like yeah. really um clue scrolls, you know, they're fun. They're a fun distraction. But losing out access to a more valuable perk because you want to find clue scrolls from skilling occasionally isn't really all that great to me and to many others. No, and I mean, especially when you get them in such high volume from, like, combat and yeah. especially and while, uh, Chris pickpocketing. Yeah. Well, so, I think it's fine because, um, you know, this is fairly low invention access. The way to access it is very rare. Um, you know, uh, the chance of obtaining a clue scroll, um, you know, it doesn't... It's, it's a low chance anyway. The rates aren't high. Um, the, you know, the higher level the uh, clue scroll, the rarer they are. And it only comes from ancient components and evasive components. Ancient components are from third age armor. So there's that. Yeah. Um, evasive is easier to get, obviously, but still, you know, that's not, an, not a cheap perk to really access on a reasonable level. So it's it's not one that I personally find very useful or interesting. Yeah. Um, I think Pyromaniac's great. Uh, it's, you know, one of the core ones for fire making, since, you know, as fire making, you don't have a lot of options. I think that um, having one that really, you know, offers you that chance of just picking up all of your logs and going, all right, I'm done with you, and tossing them into the fire is kind of Yeah, hilarious. I mean, it's dumping your whole inventory. So yeah, that's and while the chance is fairly low, the chance is fairly low, but... What it offers is huge because it's almost like the cash perk with divination. So that'll still be a fairly decent, you know, XP per hour buff when it comes to fire making, yeah. which I'm a fan of. I think that's really nice. Um, it comes from explosive components, which are very easy to get. You get eight per hand cannon. 
Um, organic parts, direct components, and light components. So, big fan of this one. Nicely done. See, my luck would be it would always proc on like the first log in an inventory, and then never again. <laughs> that would be bad. Um, next up is Rapid, which has a 5% chance to speed up uh, an action per rank, up to three ranks. Comes from uh, enhancing components, shifting components, light components, or stave parts. Um, shifting components only come from chaotic weaponry. So this, uh, you know, getting the, the rare component version is, is kind of challenging. And uh, the only way to get rank three is shifting or enhancing components, I've found. Um, but you can increase the chance for your, with your enhancing components by adding stave parts as well, oddly. Um, I haven't gotten Rapid 3 yet, but I have managed to get 2 pretty nicely, which, I mean, it's a cool perk. I like this perk. I don't really have yeah, any complaints I mean, about it, it. It's good, especially for smithing, when a lot of yeah. your actions are super slow. And so. in combination with Breakdown, it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, it, what's also really nice is that it actually stacks additively with the Varrock armor. Oh, really? Oh, that's Yeah, cool. so, because that one also has a chance of... Um, activating your smithing faster. Uh, they can't activate at the same time, but they do stack. So it's just a higher percent chance of that faster stacking. Yeah. Which is really cool. I, I love that. I love that they even thought to, you know, build that in. Um, next up is Breakdown, which I think combines with Rapid insanely well for smithing. Um, up to an 100% chance of automatically disassembling items produced. If you are smith training smithing and are not making a profit and don't plan to sell back or need components, this is the perk for you. It's so I didn't look into this, but at a hundred percent chance, it must be obscenely expensive. To, um, uh, well, get you can five. get rank five off of heavy components, and uh, really? undead components are the other um, thing that it comes from, which comes from Barrow's equipment. So. It's really, it's really not that awful, honestly. Like, obviously, Barrows is hard to buy right now because everybody's getting on dead components. But, you know, give it a week or two for prices to settle, and this will be a fairly affordable rank five perk. Um, do keep in mind that, like, um, I believe, yeah, like Pyromania, um, the rare component at five of them offers a level or rank two two five chance. So it's never going to be a 100% chance of getting a rank 5. You're going to have to invest some components into this. Yeah. But I think it's really well put together. Um, lastly is the Tinker perk, which is going to be very good soon. Not it's right now. currently not at all. Um, it offers a 1% chance per rank per action to give plus 10% XP. Yay! That's bad. At rank 3, that is a 0.03% increased XP per hour. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's Luckily, Mod Ryan's crap. fully aware of this, has proposed a change to 5% chance per rank for plus 25% XP, which is a lot better. That goes up to 15% chance of the proc happening, with a plus 25% chance on that proc. So that'll make it a lot more worth it. It's also not too horrible to get. Um, all three components that give it, Fungal, Clockwork, and Delicate, are fairly affordable, fairly easy to get a hold of, and all of them offer up to rank three at five components. Um, so, yeah, I think this perk will be better once Ryan gets the fixes in. So, I'm looking forward to that. Yep, and that should be it for that update, huh? Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about was a couple patch notes from the invention update. Oh, go ahead. Uh, some cool stuff. Um, Araxi, QBD, Durzag, Yakamaro, and Russia Blood loot chests show their total value in the corner. Real nice. Love that. Mm -hmm. um, Sensei Hakase, uh, Hakase on Twilight will give you the full list of your remaining requirements to uh, get the salty title. I already got it. Suck it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can't can... all be so lucky, okay? <laughs> you can uh, recolor uh, the Memorial to Gothic's um, you know, hologram NPC things um, once you've unlocked those colors, which is really nice. Uh, nightmare creatures no longer run away from you. Thank God that was really annoying. Mascap a roots got nerfed horribly. Oh. Oh, my gosh. What happened? Um, so 
apparently for a while there's been a bug where the a roots on mousecab only spawn in melee variant oh uh... the reason why i say they got nerfed horribly is not that the mobs are easier to kill now it's that they're harder to kill now it's that they actually means, got fixed which means the invention knock scythe um cannon method is less effective because the a root will now correctly spawn in range form at times and will then you know, not walk into your scythe range. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call that a nerf. That's definitely a bug fix. Oh, it's it's definitely a bug fix, but you know, it's it's nerfing this method pretty heavily. Um, and I don't I don't hate it, but I'm I'm a little confused as to why now. Why not? You know, the first week of people figuring out that this was a thing and going, oh, that's a bug. Whoops. <laughs> Um, I think the other problem I have with it is that other methods exist that are easier to do that don't have a bug involved, like abyssal demons. So I'm I'm not sure. Um, I'm I'm you know I'm glad they've fixed a bug, but at the same time it removes a functionality that is accessible elsewhere. So that's a little strange to me. Um, yeah. Let's see what else uh, what else did they do that I was excited about oh um got some more timers over things in the arc which is really nice um they adjusted some contracts a little more in the arc um if you have the the block for named islands on there it also gets rid of some of the low tier resources that you don't want mm -hmm. um what was the last one I was oh uh, there's a cosmetic sun spear now that's really nice. I'm a big fan of that one. Oh, cool. Uh, where's the other one? Um, that was oh, yeah, that's fixes. a really uh, weird time to end the sun spear. Yeah, it's been a but, long uh, time. You can drink a cup of tea to remove the effects of the aggression potion. I think that's hilarious. Really good flavor <laughs> there. Like nice. This that's is how we continue to remember that Jagex is a British company. <laughs> yep. Uh, both Port Serum Fishing Shop and the Catherby Range House have uh, had their missing door stops re-added so that the doors don't close anymore. <laughs> um, and perhaps most interestingly, uh, you can now add compost after you've planted a seed as long as it has not completed a growth step yet. Oh, that's so nice. Yep. Oh, and raptor key pieces and raptor armor is more common. But Who does camels? Yeah. Who does camels? Who does camels? Who takes a camel task voluntarily? <laughs> Thanks, Raven. Yeah. He, th those are the only ones that just need all around like changes, and they didn't get them. Yeah. All all three of the other ones are in a really good spot now, but not camels. No. Nope. No. Thanks, Cyrus. Can't even blame Raven for this one. I can't. Yeah. I will. But yeah. All right. Moving on. Lastly, the uh, top 10 ninja fixes. Mod Kelpie over the last week or so has been running kind of a poll on Reddit about what the top 10 ninja fixes people would like to see were. Um, instead of just 10, though, we actually got 20, where Kelpie separated them into quick fixes, so ones that'll take, you know, a week or two, versus big fixes, which are ones that will take, you know, a month or two of dev time, maybe more. The most so, hilarious uh, one on here is in the pick fixes. It's a uh, storm of armadillos underwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really underwhelming description of it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let's see. Um, so the quick fixes: teleports, elf teleport seeds have too few charges. This is true. Don't know why this is number one. Don't know why this is on the list at all. This is not important in any way. Shape, I'm sure or this came up in the live stream, and they were just you had a bunch of people being, oh, that's a good idea. And the chat. I guess it's confusing to me because I don't think this is useful in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I it's nice because I actually use elf teleport crystals, and I have like thirty of them in my bank because they only have like two charges on them. So they get up to three. Yeah, it's it's still. I, it's still I used low. to have about fifty or sixty of them in my bank, and then you could break them down for faceted components, and I just did that. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, number two is the buffs UI. Lots of effects don't appear in the buff bar. Shawnee's already working on this and has been showing off some new uh, buffs he's adding. He's planning to finish it over the game jam. Cool. I did not know this was a problem that existed. Yeah, uh, it is. It's very annoying, especially at higher level bosses, too. 
Um, there's just a lot of things that happen that there's no real way to track what's happening. I tend to not pay attention to the buff bar is my problem. So. That, that too, yeah. Um, number three, Dungeoneering. It's tricky selecting bats and animated pickaxes. I believe, was it Nexus that did this? Somebody did this. I saw somebody tweet out that they'd done this. So yes, yeah, cool. I believe it was Nexus that did that. Cool. I'm Increasing glad I remember the, uh, the click radius. Yep. Because um, animated pickaxes four, are like a total of three pixels. It, it's literally just like spend 20 minutes right or left clicking trying to figure out where they are. Um, familiar UI. There's no option to dump your inventory into a beast of burden. I like this, this is one. why like you do it from the bank, though. I, I don't see yeah. a need for this. But like, you know, if you're if you're trying to move some stuff around or something, you just want to store more items in your VOB. I'm totally fine with this. I like this one a lot. Uh, more importantly, though, is the one that somehow got beaten by the familiar UI. Summoning familiars aren't force called when teleporting to some areas. Thank God this is on this list. <laughs> so annoying. So, so annoying. So I'm excited for that one. Kind of uh, confused about six. Uh, World I mean, they already said they didn't want to raise it from 2400. When did this become yep. a problem? Uh, apparently, everybody whined about it enough, so they put it on there. Not a fan. I don't think this is necessary at all. I just don't care is my problem. Especially is number six on this list. Yeah. This is like Ninja's time that they're you know offering, and people want at to see the world level. At least level it's not guys? listed under big fixes. I might have to just like <laughs> re-examine the ninjas yeah, that if it been was. Pretty funny. Um, number seven, prayer potions aren't available to free to play. Okay, cool, whatever. Okay. All right, do it. Um, buffs UI, many buffs, debuffs, lack specific numbers. Shawnee is also doing this. Cool. Um, chat, character limit and friend and clan chat channels is too small. Yes, awesome. Jesus if they can Christ. extend it, they they extended private message. Um, private message is like, like fucking infinite. Five at this point. years ago, it was a long time ago. Yeah, this. This um, needs so to I'm happen. glad they're finally, you know, willing to look into it for friends and uh, clan chat. Also Maybe surprised we'll it it's not something that's in the big fixes, <laughs> just because it yeah. has the word clan in it. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, and then invention, um, installed gizmos can't be seen while examining other player. I like this one a lot, actually. Um, I know it's kind of low impact, but it's nice to be able to examine somebody and see that they have an augmented gear and be able to actually see what they have on their gear now. That'll be a nice change, and I'm, I'm eager for that one. Yeah. Uh, big fixes. Don't know why anybody upvoted the one at number one, because this is already confirmed to be coming with the bank rework. But okay, guys, let's waste a spot. Yeah. Thanks. It's difficult to maintain a tidy bank. Cool. This was it's in the It's almost as if log. they didn't watch the dev blog. It's almost as if they paid zero attention. I don't know why Kelpie included it. It was it was in their bank design blog. <laughs> yeah. No. But okay, Jeez. whatever. Um, number two, auras take up a lot of bank space. Cool. Yes, they do. Um, I've been seeing ideas about like an aura pouch, or really just the ability to activate an aura from an interface. I'm all for that. Cool stuff. Yeah. As long as you can activate them in combat, cool. Um, D and D's. There's too much daily escape burden put on the player. Why is this yes. a problem? Just yes, yes to all of this. I mean, um, I know I like people that. who yes, enjoy daily escape. Labs, um, where it was like uh, an NPC where you could like pay them to go around and collect all the things for you. Yeah. So that could be a good way to mitigate things like that. I mean, I guess if it's like the you know go to X person in X town to get X amount of things. And you have someone just doing that for you, that'd be okay. Yeah. But someone like, hey, I just did your daily caches. Hmm. <laughs> no, that would, no, that would be a little gem. Um, but no, I mean, I mean, another thing they have wanted to address is things like caches and warbands being so ridiculously overpowered and a daily. Um, I mean, so I don't I, have a problem with warbands being a daily. Though it's like I don't have much of a problem with warbands. I have a big problem with cash. Uh, I have. Never done a cash because I've had ninety nine yes. since way before cash caches completely came out. Shapes the way people train divination now. I know it's like mainly focused on caches, but yeah, like it. Essentially, if you're not training with with the cash buff, you're being ridiculously, you know, uh, inefficient. And yeah, I think I mean, that's a pretty major problem. It it it's a problem, 
but the poor way to train training skill or the most efficient it's one of the skill, i mean that's it not be the 95 divination spot base xp is somewhere around like 70k xp an hour which is low yeah but like so, honestly like the cash xp it gives you i have no problem with that but it's the buff yeah. the fact that the fact that the way cash's work has you know, shaped the way a skill is trained is a problem, and it's something I very much want to see addressed. I think the buff was more of so of like, here's evil an incentive. To, well, yeah, but it's like here's an incentive to keep training in between your caches. Yeah. So. And and of course that's not what it's done. Instead, it's been yeah. oh well, I'm going to go train divination only two times a day, and during those times, I'm going to have stocked up memories during the hours that there were not a cache. And then go to the mobilizing army spot and just dump a bunch of memories into a hole. Yeah. Not a fan of that. Don't don't like that. Speaking of mobilizing so, armies, that is getting ripped out the game. Thank Christ. Wait, they did confirm that? I oh uh, that. no, yes, it is going. Woo! It is bye bye. Oh thank goodness. It's gonna join rat pits in the nether region. Still think they should replace it with armies of Gilinor, but you know. Uh I mean, it kind of was the alpha armies of Gilinor, so... Yeah, that's true. It's it's a terrible minigame, though. Yeah, and it's I'm awful. To see it go. I know that seems kind of weird, being excited to see some content removed from the game. I know exactly one person Mobilizing. who likes that minigame, and I'm sure Let's... you can figure out who. Yes, I know exactly <laughs> who you're talking about. Hi. You're probably not watching this, but hi. I know you love the game. But seriously, it's a bad mini game. Come on, but you can't even chat in it. Sorry, <sighs> it's, it's leaving. It's gone. Can you not chat in it? I haven't played in years. <laughs> you literally, you cannot freely chat in it. It has quick chat, like a, a variation of quick chat. That's it. Oh Jesus! It's worse than Hearthstone. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, number four, inventory. Currency pouch is inconvenient to use. Huge up on this one. Currency pouch is shit. Yeah. I mean, it's great. It's useful to have. But boy, yeah, it is really inconvenient to yeah, use. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. Um, especially with the giant MTX section and the huge get bond. And then the tiny little section for the things you actually <laughs> care about. Very annoying. <laughs> There are no clan broadcasts. Yeah. That's something yeah. I've never had a major issue with. Why is it on this list? I, is I this think something a lot people... Of people actually, uh, you know, not everybody has everybody in their clan added. And since there's friend broadcast, it stands to reason there should be clan broadcasts as well. Oh, um, is this talking about broadcasts like. You like get, drop broadcasts. You get like a drop broadcast. and stuff like that? Okay, okay. I thought yeah. it meant like. So, you know, the clan is going to set up stuff and it's broadcasting and, uh, out random I get, stuff. I get 120 invention. It'll okay. We're not added. We don't have each other added. It'll now show a broadcast that I've done something. But notice, this one is in the big fixes because it has the word clan in it. <laughs> it has the word clan in it. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Clans are such a mess. I, yep. I, Mod Maz, where are you? Uh, practice mode. This is my actual. This is my favorite one on here. You can't. Uh, you can't currently choose which phase of a bro uh, boss to practice against. I love this one. I love this one so much. I want this one so badly. Please give it to me now. Yeah, this is nice. Um, I would love to be able to get my like Araxi rotations down perfectly. I mean, I've already. I'm already very good at her, but I, I would love to just be able to practice against that. I'd love to be able to practice P3 Telos so I can get that down much better than I do right now. Because B three Telos is trash. Fight me IRL, and um, it it's just it's very useful. It allows you to focus on the things that you want to actually I don't know practice. So that'll be a great addition. I understand it's big, but that one seems worth it to me. Um, prayer. There's only one quick prayer re uh, preset. I think adding a couple more is nice. Yeah, Yeah, I, I mean, that's okay. Out. I know this is just going to set up a new meta for the game where you're going to have these people. Make sure you have this, this, and this set up for your three presets. Yeah. But I, uh, I like it, though. Like, uh, it's just it's convenient to be able to 
excuse me, not have to click, you know. It is. It's just one of those mechanics that you know over the top PVMers are just going to hammer down on. I'm, I'm all for it. Like, you know, I, I have a couple prayers on my bar for like a Rex or a Telos just so I can swap between them. But being able to. You I don't know, keep prayers on my bar I'm just because I have prayers on my screen. So. Yeah. Like, you know, being able to very easily swap between a set of prayers is very nice to me. And I'm, I'm a fan of that. In fact, it'll even make using the new next prayers, next angel of death prayers, a little easier. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, number eight, quick chat. There's no quick chats for total level, total XP, or XP at a skill. Yay! Yay, quick Please chat updates. Uh... Not even like the fact that it's quick chat, but you know, once you pass 99, you can't really talk about how far you are using quick chat. Yeah. So it, I, I'm a big fan of the total XP in a skill. Quick chat specifically. Um, the other two are player examinable. Well, even XP and a skill is, but I don't know. It's just like it would be nice to, you know, when I say, yay, I got 110 fishing, I can then quick chat that XP and be like, see, I got 110 fishing. Yeah. Um, we poked fun at number nine already. Yes, Storm of Armadale is underwhelming. underwhelming. It is underwhelming as hell. It has been underwhelming since underwhelming. EOC came out. This is a problem. <laughs> In fact, if I'm correct, I believe Storm of Armadale is literally air surge, but requiring an Armadale room. You would be right. It is awful. <laughs> and oh, it doesn't... No, no, it's, it's actually weaker than air surge. <laughs> oh, great. Cool. Well, air surge is a... Let's see, what level is that? 80-something? Uh, Storm of Armadale is 77, I believe. It is. And yep. Air Surge is... Da, da, da. <clears throat> Where's the level? 81. Okay, I can see it being... Let's weaker. see. The base damage of the spell is 777, and it scales up to 883. The base damage of... is not listed on this page, but they have an entire section about prior to the evolution of combat that seems really pointless on this page. Basically, Storm of Armadillo is worse than Air Surge, or no, it's... at best, at the same level for, like, way above the cost. Yeah, it's pretty trash right now, especially coming from uh, such a Five high Aries is 215 coins. An Armadillo Rune is 369 coins. So you're paying I'm about one point five. I'm surprised they even have kept their value. Yeah. I'm, uh, like, 1.5 the cost for the same spell is really bad would be nice to get it, you know, actually powerful, considering it's a super, you know, high-level reward from Ritual of the Magara. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Number 10, another broadcast one. Can't, they can't be interacted with for quick social interactions. Don't know how these launched without this, to be honest. What would that even entail? Like you so it, what, you see it, the it goes, you know, a masket has received X skilling pet. You will now be able to right-click on the message to message me and say, Congratulations! Oh, just say congrats. Yeah. Okay. Or like, fuck you for getting that pet. <laughs> that. Um, Damn yeah, you and like your it. fucking four pets in a week luck. I have three. I've only gotten three. <laughs> he was <laughs> after, in a week, though. After um, four months of hunting pets, I get three in a week and then have not gotten one since. <laughs> <laughs> Still hunting for bubbles, and it's still not happening. I still have my one, but I'll take my Dojo Mojo. Hey, that's a good one, too. But, uh, yeah, like... Oh, that'll be... That'll be a nice ad. Just, it's... It's annoying to... You, you know, want to... You know, you see your friend get something cool, and then you go to PM them, and then you have to really awkwardly scroll through your entire friends list to find that one person. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be a nice change. I'm a fan of that. I mean, maybe you don't have that problem. Maybe you have like three friends and they're all just logged on. But I have three hundred and ninety two friends. <laughs> I'll be proud of them. I actually had to go through and delete a lot of like old ones because I was near max. I was near max. Yeah, I, I do that from time to time. I need to do that more, honestly. I actually did that to uh, the clan recently. A bunch of people have lost their names because they are not playing actively. So. Uh, oh, so you get. Lovely parenthesis number name. Yep, so I got rid of those. But, uh, yeah, big fan of these 
all of these changes really, you know, barring a couple ones where I'm kind of sitting here going, why? But why? <laughs> Overall, good set of... What good are the comments of... on this Reddit thread? It's Tornado Scape. It's supposed to be the strongest of the tornadoes. All of the tornadoes. <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Yeah, a uh, big, big fan of pretty much all of these. Um, there's a couple, like I said, not crazy about, but really overall happy with these, and I'm eager to see them happen. Yep. Cool stuff. Um, next time we put out like a thoughts on thing will probably be after Ernest the Chicken 2. Uh, but I am planning to try and get some more stuff done because I've got, um, hopefully, got a lot of free time this upcoming week. So After we'll this week, what hopefully I, actually... I will be able to get some stuff done as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what I actually managed to uh, to make. In the meantime, though... Knowing me, I promise things and then immediately get really busy and don't make them. In the meantime, though, go watch the quest in the making that we put out. Yeah, Worked pretty really hard good. on it. Please watch it. Please watch it. We, we put some good work into that, and uh, I think we compiled a lot of cool info. Um, if you enjoyed this, please leave us a like. Tell us what you liked or even what you didn't in the comments. We'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe. We'd love to have you checking out our videos on the regular. Yep. So uh, I'm a mascot. There's Krondis. And Hi. that's our thoughts on the stuff that happened recently. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye. Bye.